Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, welcome to my Black Friday slash Cyber Monday haul. I have a lot of things to share with you and because I have a lot of things, I'm only going to share the things that I am keeping and the things that I actually bought as part of a discount type deal, not just because I bought it around Cyber Monday or Black Friday. So I will start by saying that uh, I do not go out on Black Friday and buy things. Um, I refuse to partake in that madness that is physical brick and mortar stores on Black Friday. I do all of my shopping online with one exception this year. And uh, the exception actually was a Henry Bendel bag and I will get to it later. But with that exception, everything else was purchased online. And I'm gonna start with the thing that is nearest to me and it's also, I think, one of the smallest things. So. Let's get started. First, it is this Numi Titan 3-in-1 curling wand. I have mixed feelings about this, okay? The product is fine. I have already tried it, and I don't know if you can see it, but, you know, the... Whoop! Things just fall out. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the curling wand won that battle, um, so they do get very hot. So, <laughs> the tools themselves are fine. My problem is with the website and the customer service. I purchased this on the Black Friday, I think it was on the 27th. And the first time that I tried to purchase, the website was um, not working. It was giving me a lot of trouble and so I went through with the order. I paid through PayPal, but the order actually never went through as far as Numi was concerned. There was no record that I had placed an order, there was no record of me having created an account, there was nothing. All there was was my debit from PayPal. They took my money from PayPal. So uh, I immediately raised a PayPal dispute and I waited a couple of days and I placed the order again with a credit card this time. And that time I had no trouble. I actually did that on Saturday and I got the wand on Monday. So very, very quick once the order actually went through. So one, there's a problem with the website, which is not very good. And two, I tried to contact them over and over again via email, via phone, and nothing. Um, they didn't respond to my pay PayPal dispute and I got my money back but it was because after a certain amount of time after you raise the dispute if you haven't heard from the seller PayPal itself uh, takes it up and I got my money back but their customer service is terrible and by that I mean new me it's not PayPal so I, I, I don't know whether I want to recommend these ones or not because the product is fine as far as I can tell, but the customer service is terrible. Also, there is a restocking fee if you ever want to return the ones and you have to pay shipping. Uh, I bought the ones for a total of, I think about $89, including shipping. And that is a big discount because I think originally they go for about $180 maybe. So maybe a little bit more, I'm not entirely sure about that. But it was a big discount. So for me to return this, if I don't like it, basically it is all of the money that I already paid for these things because return via UPS is expensive. So I don't, I don't know, I'm torn. I'm torn about whether I want to recommend it or not, I guess I would say buyer beware, and that's as far as I can go with it. Whew, it is hot in here. With the exception of the new me ones that I actually opened and tried, I haven't opened any of these things that I purchased because I wasn't sure whether I wanted to, to do an unboxing or not. I'm not gonna do an unboxing for each one, but this video will serve as an unboxing of sorts. Moving right on, I have a few bags. Do not judge me. They were great deals, all of them. And I'm gonna start with this Gigi New York bag. If you guys have watched some of my other bag videos, you know that I love Gigi New York and I have not bought anything on sale from them until now. And the sale was not like a percent off on a bag. It was you buy a bag or you buy a certain, rather you spend a certain amount of money and you get these free gifts. And if you spend $500 or more, you got a free bag. And the free bag, which we'll get to uh, in a minute, 
It's a $350 bag that they actually sell on their website. So, I mean, that is a good deal if I ever saw one. So what I got was here. It's a uh, Wesley satchel. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out. Up to the other side. And it is so pretty. And I don't know if you can see it. But I had it monogrammed. I had it personalized uh, because I liked the bag that much. And it is a satchel that also has a crossbody strap. And the strap is inside. Let me see. I know you can't see me open them, but you will have to do. Yeah, there's a, there's a strap in here. So. Now, this bag is personalized, so I can't return it. So I will definitely just go ahead and open it. It is actually not a crossbody strap. It is a shoulder strap. That's what it looks like. And I will take photos of all of these things and put them in my blog just so that you can see them better. But it is adorable, and I love the tassel. Yeah, it is the Welby Satchel in wine. I love this purple color. And yes, you all know that I love sniffing leather. I, I'm absolutely in love with it. It's simple, but it's still sophisticated. And the color is amazing. Just look at it. It's just gorgeous. Let's zoom that a little bit so you can see these bags a little bit better. But the free bag that came with my purchase was a teddy tote. And this one is in the color Meadow Lilac lilac meadow something along those lines and it is stunning it has a snake embossing just like my other um Gigi new york satchel uh the uh hayden satchel that i have a video on and because i got my other bag personalized i also qualified to have this one personalized so i did and like i said this is a 350 dollar bag they sell it on their website, albeit in different colors, but it is like the real deal. And it's actually really big. It has lots of pockets, it has an uh, internal pocket. I love these internal pockets, by the way, because if you want to put your wallet in there, because I mean, totes tend to be open, so they are easily accessible to thieves, but you know, that takes care of that. And then there's these two pockets here, and uh, yeah, there's a zipper pocket on top of there too. So very, very practical. And the color is absolutely beautiful. And my nails match a little bit. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose, it just so happened. But I love this tote. The original color they had listed was called uh, Mandarin, I think. Clementine, it was called Clementine. And it was orange and that was on on black friday but the following day they came out with three more colors and so i went with this one it's called meadow lilac i also had a 15 percent discount so the total was including shipping and tax was about 499 dollars for the both bags which is Great. And while I was putting the tote back, I noticed that at the bottom of the box there was something else that they included in my order. And I haven't opened it, so let's see what it is. It is a book. It is a leather bound book. And it is called The Greatest Gift A Christmas Sale by Philip Van Dorenstern. I hadn't seen that, and it was nowhere advertised that that would happen and it's actually a $55 book aside from bags uh, they sell other leather items and I think they started by selling other things other than bags um, but this is it's great I hadn't seen it I hadn't seen it until now and moving right on to the next item is a Rebecca Minkoff uh, moto satchel in the color pork I have a lot of Rebecca Minkoff bags. I love Rebecca Minkoff. And I can't remember what the, oh, I think it was 25% off from these bags. And I haven't opened it, like I said. 
So we're gonna do a little bit of unboxing now. Okay. And like this is normally where I would be in my pajamas doing the unboxings and then doing the uh, uh, the intro to the videos later on when I actually have clothes on, but I have clothes on. They always come so well wrapped that you would think doing an unboxing would be quick, but it's not. So sometimes what I do to stop the video being too long or you know just getting bored is spit it up and post. But because I'm talking, I'm <clears throat> blabbering, I won't do that. But while I do this, I want to talk to you about things that have been going on in my life um, and if you watch my vlogs then you probably already know this but I am so consumed with schoolwork right now like right now I really ought to be writing but I'm not writing and it is a problem because I'm behind and this is being stubborn and I wonder if this is where I end uh, my PhD career because I can't give up and I can't hack it. But I hope not. I mean, I am doing my best. But sometimes your best is, you know, not good enough. Okay. Okay, I think that's good enough for the purpose of this video. But here is the large Moto Satchel in the color port. And it does have silver hardware. Most of my recommend of bags have gold hardware, it's just the way that it happened. But I purposely chose this one with silver. And for 25% off, it's pretty good. It's actually also a decent size, it's not huge and it's not little, it's good. Next up, also from Rebecca Minkoff, is a pair of shoes. They are flat. And yeah, they are also in the color port, so they complement the bag very well. Let's see if I can show this. The bag is in pebble leather and these are not in pebble leather, but it's pretty close. I'm not one for matchy matchy, but I really like these, so yeah. Again, smell the leather. These don't smell as good as the bags. But yeah, these, they're pretty cool. I mean, look at that little detail in the back the straps this is suede this is um just regular leather they're very cute and they were also on sale they were on sale already i think and then i got them again uh with the 25 percent off because they were having 25 percent off your entire order whether things were on sale or not so if you already bought up something that was on sale the discount was pretty deep. Next is the Henry Bendel. Is it Bendel, Bendel? I'm not sure, I've never actually heard it said out loud. But I got this at the boutique store in uh, Fifth Avenue. And I have been looking at their Jet Setter backpacks, which is what I got on the website for a while, but I hadn't actually gotten around to buying it. Uh, and uh, you know, we're just walking down Fifth Avenue, we strolled into the store. It was Black Friday, and they were having a 25%, 25, 30% off sale, 30%, 30% sale on everything on their ground floor. And then in the upper floor, they had things that were up to 50% off. Those were different styles that I wasn't interested in at the moment. So I got me a Jet Setter backpack. And this one is, this is nylon and this is Safiano leather. So it's not a leather which I would prefer, but the sales assistant told me that they do not have all leather ones. And that may just be the season because I have seen them all leather. I actually found out about these backpacks through uh, uh, Busby Style and she has a great channel. I will put a link somewhere for you to go check it out. Um, and she has one that she has been raving about for a while. And the straps are inside, but essentially you hook the uh, straps from here to here and from here to here and it's a backpack. Or you can carry it as a satchel or you can hook the straps to these um, 
hooks instead and have it as a crossbody bag or a shoulder bag. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to carry it, but I like... I should say that even though I prefer all leather, I like that it's nylon. I like that I wouldn't have to baby it as much because it cleans better. And Safiano leather, which I'm also not necessarily enamored with, is also a lot easier to clean. So this makes for a good travel backpack, which is what it's supposed to be. Uh, and here's the strap. The strap is um, it's cloth with some leather. Um, let's see what's inside. I haven't opened it. Yeah, so it has a um, pocket there. You can't really see it very well because I don't want to take all this stuff out. And then it has... Uh, it has a zipper pocket there and I think yeah that is it it has a, a little other pockets and things like that but this was a great um, uh, find Com this was completely unplanned like I didn't actually go into the store thinking I'm going to buy anything I went into the store thinking oh I'm going to look at things and see what's out there and so I bought it. And with that, they were giving away free piggy bank. It's absolutely adorable. It is a Henry Bandle piggy bank. And I think it's a special edition. Look at its booty. Uh, and I didn't actually see the pig until I got home and I started looking in the bag, uh, in the shopping bag, and it had a littler, let's see if I can get it out here. It had a smaller shopping bag and the pig was inside. So yes, it's it's adorable. My son had already put a penny in it because you know, a penny is a lot of money for a seven year old. And additionally, they gave me a gift card and I can't remember the amount for that. So all in all, it was a good deal. Um, I think I will get a lot of use out of the bag. Now, I do have one more thing that hasn't arrived yet, but I don't know when it's going to arrive. It is actually an order from Ulta. And what they were doing is if you spend X amount of money on a, clean, on a fragrance item, they gave you a free robe. And I purchased the Clinique Happy. I don't know when that's coming, so I'm not gonna wait for that. Uh, and I will move on to the last thing that I bought and I bought this at a local store on Cyber Monday they had extended their Black Friday uh, discounts until Monday and I pay for it with uh, part of a, um, a refund that I have from a previous order they don't do refunds they only do store credit so it's like a gift card but it is actually a utilitarian thing as opposed to everything else which is you know just trivial I want things, so I'm gonna get them. Um, as you know, I live in New York, and as you know, I come from Florida, where winter was not a thing. And so I didn't have many winter uh, clothes or coats, let alone like really cold stuff uh, to wear. So uh, I got this coat. And I think I'm gonna have to stand out for this because it's so big. But it is um, a down coat, like actual real down. I don't think it's goose. I don't know what kind, but it's actual down um, with a hood. And this is full fur, it's not real fur. And what sold me on the bag, not the bag, bags are on my mind. What sold me on the coat is the cuffs. So. You would think this is a normal cuff, but it's not. This is a thumb hole. So, I, I mean, I'm not gonna put my hands all the way in there, but basically, they go like this on your hand, and they keep your hand warm. The store where I bought the coat is called Brooklyn Industries, and they do have some other stores in, in Manhattan, and I think they have some on the West Coast, but I'm not sure about that. So that was my Black Friday slash Cyber Monday haul. I bought a lot of things. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm... Yeah, I'm not making any apologies for that. Um, about a lot of things. But on the flip side, I probably won't get anything for Christmas because I already have everything I want. Uh, and I hope that you liked the items. I love them all. The Gigi New York stuff is amazing. Um, 
the I keep looking around because I'm surrounded by boxes and I'm surrounded by things and I wish I could turn the camera and show you the other side because we have the boxes with the lights came in we have boxes that my husband bought he bought things that I'm not showing because I didn't buy them that is his problem but I can tell you that uh, we are covered as far as video games is concerned which is a little concerning considering that we don't actually play a whole lot of video games